The rules for rounding are pretty simple, and if you understand what rounding is, these should make a lot of sense to you. The first thing you do is find the place that you want to round to, the tens place, the hundreds place, or so on. And then you look at the next digit. And if the next digit is a 5 or higher, you round up. Otherwise, you round down. And we'll look at some examples. We'll start with this first row here. We're told to round to the nearest 10. Well, 51, we're going to be rounding to the nearest 10, so it's either going to be a 50 or a 60. And you can see that 51 is closer to 50 than it is to 60, so the answer is, is 50. Uh, according to the rules, we look at this digit. That's the place we want to round to. We're rounding to the nearest 10, so we look at the tens place. The next digit is less than 5, so we round down. The same thing happens over here. We're rounding to the nearest 10, so we look at the next digit, the 2 in this case. That's less than 5, so we round down. And in all of these, the rounded number ends up being 50 until we get up to 55. Here we're rounding to the nearest 10, so we look at the next digit, that's 5 or higher, so we round up. The 5 is tricky because it's right in between. 55 is right in between, right in the middle of 50 and 60, so it's a little ambiguous. We could round either way, and either way would be equally correct. The rules say, though, that when the, the digit is a 5, we round up. So 55 rounds to a 60. And so does 56 rounds to 60, or 57, or 58, or 59. Those would all round to a 60. In this next row of numbers, we're also told round to the nearest 10. So we look at the tens place. And the next digit, in this case it's a 1, that's less than 5, so we round down. So to the nearest 10, that's 620. 625 here, we're rounding this to the nearest 10. So we find the tens place, then we look at the next digit, which is a 5. We round up when the next digit is a 5. So 625 to the nearest 10 is 630. And 628, again, we look at the tens place, because we're rounding to the nearest 10. The next digit, the 8, is 5 or higher, so we round up. So 628 rounded to the nearest 10 is 630. Here we're told to round to the nearest 100. So 628, we find the 100 spot, that's the 6, and we look at the next digit, the 2. That's less than 5, so we round down. So to the nearest 100, this is 600. And you can probably also tell at a glance that 628 is closer to 600 than it is to 700. 684, rounded to the nearest 100, we find the hundreds place and then look at the next digit. In this case, it's an 8. That digit is a 5 or higher, so we round up. And our answer is 700. And again, you can probably tell that 684 is closer to 700 than it is to 600. So 684, rounded to the nearest 100, is 700. 98. Well, we find the hundreds place, which doesn't actually exist. There's not a number here. Uh, you could think of it as a 0, 0, 9, 8. But the next digit would be a 9. That's closer to, uh, that's a 5 or above. So we round up, we get 100 as our answer. And the number 98 certainly is closer to 100 than it is to 0. So rounded to the nearest 100, that is 100. And the number 34 is closer to 0 than it is to 100. So rounded to the nearest 100, that is a 0. And again, if we look at the hundreds place, which is non-existent there, you could think of it as a 0. The next place, which is a 3, that's 5 or less, so we round down. So 34 rounded to the nearest 100 is 0. In this next row, we're told to round to the nearest 1,000. So 27,811. Well, there's my thousands place. I look at the next digit, it's an 8. That's 5 or higher, so I round up. And the answer is 28,000. Rounded to the nearest 1,000, the answer is 28,000. The same thing happens here. I find the thousands place. The next digit is a 5, 
So the rule says if the next digit is 5 or higher, we round up. So this also rounds to 28,000. Here, just one less, we end up rounding in the other direction. We end up rounding down in this case. We look at the thousands place. The next digit is less than 5, so I round down. 27,499 rounded to the nearest thousand is 27,000.